on guys it's Henry and I'm back at it with a new dial and um, I'm working on a new sci-fi style dial I think this one's more of a more of an alien style he's gonna be using it with his alien and uh, Marvel Legends I believe I'm not a hundred percent sure but it, it is gonna be a six inch scale dial so uh, this is what I have so far I already carved the walls this is the second wall and the little back wall and this is the floor right here a uh, little different um, pattern on the walls also added the um, I believe it will be like a little van on the floor different uh, different door as well I'm still gonna add a little bit of detail on that frame just to uh, make it pop a little bit more and uh, this one's um, 12 inches high, 14 inches long, and the width I believe is the same thing, about 14 inches wide. So it um, it is a little smaller than I've been what I've been working on. I've been uh, working on those big big dials for the past two three months, and um, it's kind of good going back to a to a smaller dial. And um, I guess I'm gonna be taking a little break from from um, from sci-fi right now. I gotta finish this one, and um, so I'm I'm kind of I'm gonna go ahead and take it a little bit um, take it easy on this one, since I am gonna finish this one, and then I have a um, uh, a bigger dial that I need to start uh, really really soon. That is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a massive dial. So I uh, just make sure you guys subscribe for that. That way you guys can see what's coming up next, and um, uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, it doesn't wear me out. But um, yeah, going back to this one, like I said before, um, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna do a little bit more detail on this door. Maybe some uh, like a little electrical box on the side with some wires. I'm not really too sure what I'm doing with that, but um. Maybe on this wall, I'm gonna go ahead and do a van on, on, on the floor right here. Like I said, maybe I gotta see how how it is because it, it is a smaller dial. I don't wanna I don't wanna put too much on it, and then um, it's not gonna look that good. So for sure, what I'm doing on the top, I'm gonna go ahead and do some pipes on the top. Let me see if I got them here. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do for the top. I'm gonna be adding these. I'm gonna cut two. I'm gonna put them right here. I'm gonna do like um, um, like a little shape right here, like a sci-fi style shape on the side, like what I did with my halo dial. Put one here and then another one over there, and then run two um, two of these pipes on the top, and I'm doing the same thing for the the other side. And um, from there, whatever, however I see it from there. I might add, like I said, uh, the van on the bottom, and maybe some other, um, some other little electrical boxes on the side. But I gotta see how it looks first with that, and if it looks okay with that, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna add anything else. Just like I said on the door, a uh, little box on the back, maybe coming from here, little pipes here, and then a box right here. Then my pipes on this side, and then my pipes on that other side. And um, depending on how I see it from there, because I still got to put some signs on it. And uh, depending on how I see it from there, I might add um, a vent here or uh, another electrical box on the side. But I still got to see how it looks. If it, I don't want it to look too cluttered. I, I got to make sure it looks okay. So uh, here's where we're at with that. And uh, let's see how, uh, how this one comes out. All right. Hey, what up, fellas? So we are back and we are done. And uh, this dial measures uh, 14 inches long, 12 inches deep, and 12 inches tall. Let me go ahead and put a, um, a figure for scale real quick. And uh, that's going to be a uh, Marvel Legends 6 inch figure. And uh, as you can see, I went with a different color scheme on this new dial. And I did try to add a, a lot of detail to it. 
here's a quick uh, walk through on it a few close-ups so you guys can see the whole thing and uh, for this wall right here I added a flatter gray like a darker flat gray for this walls right here and I use my my gunmetal color on the side on this side right here and on that side and I also use that for the for the door frame and also went with a different outline on my on my lines a different pattern and uh, this is supposed to be a, a um, more of a sci-fi industrial style the client that requested this dial he's gonna be using it for a lot of tough photography and he uses a lot of um, like horror figures and alien figures so uh, that's one of the reasons he requested some of the damage and uh, some of the blood on the floor that's gonna be more of our um, for his for his toy shots and um, here's a close-up of some of the damage that I did and this is the first time that I actually done this I kind of went in with my exacto knife sideways and just started taking it apart and um, I, I think it came out okay it, it could have been better but you know practice makes perfect and I also added some of that damage like um, corrosion on the bottom right here and um, with that I am really happy with it I think it came out really good and I also did the I, I also did the same thing right here on the side and like I said I like it it came out okay and um, I kind of went with some bullet holes right here let me know what you guys think about that I, I think they came out okay not, not because I did them but <laughs> yeah they're okay I guess but um, that's for the customer to decide if they, they they're okay or not but um, that was the goal with that to so go ahead and um, make it seem like bullet holes like somebody shot something running over there or whatnot and um, added some pipes to the top and I, I believe I picked those up at um, at Walmart those are a little bit smaller than the ones that I used before and uh, you could find them in the auto department and you could also find them in the auto zone yeah auto zone and uh, this door in the background I went with a with a different pattern uh, this was a little bit uh, more of a difficult test to cut but uh, it came out okay and um, that was also gonna be removable just I don't think I'll be able to do it from here but no let's move this out of the way and see if I could push it back nice and slow yeah it came out this inside and that's how it looks without the door and this one I added like I said the guy's gonna be using it for um, some toy shots so I went ahead and added some some props for him these could go with the dial or they can they could just be props like that and I'm also adding um, these little containers right here and some barrels and I think these are gonna complete the whole dial some uh, rusted barrels so this is gonna be that whole scene that he's gonna be getting and um, it, it looks pretty good I like the way it came out I especially like the color the color scheme that I use on this one and on that go ahead and leave me some feedback on that if you guys like this style excuse me or the other style of uh, paint that I use but yeah that's about it with this dial guys let me know if, if i left anything out if you have any questions go ahead and leave me a comment below and i'll talk to you guys soon Later. Mm -hmm.